then I miss the two women and now all the chest of her myself. So I miss them one spirit, the one man, the one me run off because we run off behind me. I'm coming at the house like the door. I run off with a boy. And then baby father run off again and hear a boy again. And then hear a boy. And if you look at him, my baby father, that's not that shit. I mean, help me, you can help me. Maybe I'm going to do it. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, people. Hope everybody know, okay? Hope everybody know, all right? Pick up everybody who live to see you another Friday morning. May you rise up today with a full assurance that God has your back. He is with you, for you, and actively working on your behalf. He does for you what you cannot do for yourself. May you do for him the one thing, yes, the one thing you can do. Trust him with your whole heart and embrace joy along the way. Grace and peace be with you today. God doesn't bless us just to be happy. He bless us to make us a blessing. Big up everybody who live for you another morning. Every day above ground is a blessing. Every day I come and I tell you that you know how awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. People who now stop saying that. So all who don't want to hear it, who can't just skip this part and wait until they get the news. Speaking of the news, holy power, holy power, holy power, same thing I go on. Holy power, they lie down all about the place. Gunman and police in a show thought. And guess who win? I soon tell you no. But second wanted man charged for Montego Bay double murder. Here we go on, power we go on now, my people. The second of two men who handed themselves over to the police almost two weeks ago has now been charged with the double murder for which he was being sought. Christopher Campbell, otherwise called Bigfoot, was charged on Friday with two counts of murder, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Campbell is charged in connection with the killing of Suwain Susu Pennicott, age 33, who was reportedly four months pregnant and her 19-year-old boyfriend, Barrington Clark, also called Pepper. Yes, people, Pepper, get Pepper. You understand? And yes, people, me don't want to feel like some don't remember. Pennicott then left a four-year-old set a twin. Hold on, let me tell the people them who never they bought here. Yeah? Where really they go on. The two were murdered in bed after a gunman invaded their home in a pre-dawn attack on Chico Lane in Enda, Norwood St. James on June 4th, 2022. Me and the talk about that already, you know, but me just a refresh on the memory. It's reported that about 3.50 a.m. The assailant made their entry into the couple's home by breaking down the door and inches they turned the wrong way. Then peppered, yes, them peppered the couple with bullet. Holy power, holy power, holy power shot. The incident left the community tense. Family member were distraught as they tried to come to term with the killing. Campbell, who handed himself over to the Saints by police on Saturday, June 18, was one of the two men who surrendered to the cops that weekend. The other was Tajay Clark, age 22, unemployed from Salt Ring, St. James, went in a day earlier. He was accompanied by his lawyer. May I just come and tell you this? Bad man not turning themselves to police. That's why we read Pekka Boy them. I shoot out and then them get dirt. That's all they're supposed to do. Shoot out the police till police fix on the business. Anyway, people, I can start the news right there, so the gun in the hand right now. A man shot at injured in Grangeville. A man was shot at injured at his gate in Grangeville, Westmoreland. According to information reaching our news team from the police, that about 8.30 p.m., the man was sitting on his front porch wall at his yard when a motorcycle rode up with two men aboard. The pillion got off the bike, brandished a firearm, and opened fire at the man who ran. The gunmen made their great escape on their motorcycle. The same one of them ride come in the direction at the Granger Health Center. Means of them come from in the area, people. You understand? When the shooting subsided, the man discovered that he had received a gunshot wound to his chest. The injured man was assisted to the Savlamar Public Hospital by a resident where, guess what? Where he was treated and admitted in serious condition. That's what the police them tell me, you know. The police also told our news team that there has been an increase in criminal activity in Grangeville area of recent. There are also investigations to determine if Wednesday night shooting incident is in connection 
to the murder of Oshane Hamilton. Hamilton was shot and killed by a gunman on a motorcycle on Mint Road in Granger the night before. Yes, people. Well, and then I'm going to tell you this. According to statistics of the Jamaican Constable Air Force, there has been a 39.2% increase in murder in Westmoreland since the start of the year. As of June 26, there has been 71 murders recorded when compared to the 51 murders that was committed in the corresponding period. So hold on a bit there now. I think them this a crime done. So from one man, where the him wall, I'm get, we get shot in and chest, but he's not dead. To one man, we get shot. Right pan in veranda. Here we are going pan, we are going now. Out of St. Thomas, we are going to go to this and use ya. A St. Thomas man was shot and killed. Guess which pa? Right pan in veranda in the yard. He has been identified as Odin Thomas of Artis, Yalas in the parish. Report that about 10 p.m. Thomas, along with other people, were sitting on the veranda. Hold on, we should make somebody who sit on the veranda talk to them. When men enter the premises and open gunfire, hitting him several times. He man alone get hit to enough people. Odin, yes, is the brother of Alvin Thompson, who was also killed in April this year by the police in a double fatal shooting. In that incident, both men were killed after one of them allegedly pointed a gun in the direction of a lawman who took evasive action and fired at them. Remember me on the talk about that already? Alvin Thompson, him brother, let me tell you a little something about him if you don't never know. He said to have a criminal history in the parish after being charged several times before he also have done prison time we know now one that 10 pm one him they really the on the veranda me can't tell you no you yeah, walk one power walk one now last night i come on the veranda me the baby father my cousin and my friend i was sick and was having a kind of station you see them what my look what i was saying time is the two women in a hoodie chest up her mask up so I see them one split the one man the run me run off because we run off behind me. And we come at the house at the door. As we run off we hear poi. And then baby father run off again and we hear poi again. And then we hear poi. And we think we could have hear my baby father last night that said. I said, help me, no, no, can't help me. Maybe I'm going to do help me. I'm going to work on me about, about four months here, well, baby. I'm going to have a look at that with every month I start to get blood. I'm going to go to work and I like to make work frequent. See the work, see the work. I'm going to make a work at the factory right now. I'm going to make a factory. I'm going to just then kill him. Kill him. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a girl for me alone. It's a hard working man. Very hard working job. I'm a family man. I come to my family. I'm going to talk about a family man. I come to pick me them, especially to in that. Uh. And for who watch the video while them listen, yes, man. That's the house. Right there's the house there. Right up a pancho lane. And I'm that in a little left hand corner. I feel him face. I him dead. Anyway, more people dead. 22 year old killed at birthday party in alleged gang related drive by shooting. Yes, people. People just are dead, dead, dead. Left, right, and center. Here we are going to go, go now. A 22 year old man was shot and killed during a drive by shooting in Rosite St. James. Boy, people, the bird search rich. I guess how far, boy. Now, Mr. Brown, here we are going to go, go now, man. The deceased man has been identified as Giovanni Brown of an Amity Cambridge address in the parish. According to police report, Brown, yes, Mr. Brown, boy, you understand, was attending a birthday party in a section of Rosite called Village Top when the shooting occur. Our news team understands that the now deceased man was standing with a group of individuals at approximately 10.45 p.m. when the occupants of a black Toyota Corolla motor car opened gunfire hitting him all over the body. Look like I'm them come for because I'm alone get shot. So much people can't stand up and a brown boy alone get shot people. The police were summoned upon the arrival. Brown was seen lying on the roadway in a pool of blood. Face down. Teeth meet concrete. Yes people. Dead. 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 Yes, it's at the police, them came. Right up a corner, he's in the hospital. Right up there, so him go. You understand? The cold storage just there and waiting. Well, I'm going tell you something on the door, no. Unconfirmed reporter that the man shooting death is gang related. A well placed source told our news team that Brown was attached to the Brecker gang. Yes, people, the Brecker gang. Gang got joining leader police and so that slap a long time ago. Anyway, like I'm still in that area. They are West Milan, cause the police, them down there asleep. A man dead. Right which by them they are slave people. A 17 year old boy was shot dead in his yard on Ricketts Avenue in Salvamar, West Milan. Early Thursday morning. Yes, people. The deceased has been identified as Jerry Francis, otherwise called J of a Ricketts Street address. 
Ricketts Avenue is part of the zone of sleeping operation. Police and soldiers allow them to angle them, bangle themselves. We know that the gang war never done. You understand? So we are leave them, we kill off themselves. That is what they are doing. And me are right with that. You understand? Me are right with that. The only work the police them supposed to have is pick up these boys and throw them in the jail. Carry them go put them in the cold storage. In January of this year, Prime Minister, yes, Mr. Wopless himself, declared a zone of sleeping operation in Savramar South to cover the community of Russia, Darling Street and Dexter Street. Remember, said don't say that bad, 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 you know, people. Yes, in his declaration, Opless, yes, stated that this area has been captured by gangs. You know, for Opless, though, yeah, can remember, said the gunman, them attack over everywhere. Watch me talk to a resident. A resident who did not want to be identified told our news team that she was awoken by sounds of gunshot. I never stole a fling for our stop. Gunshot around 3 a.m. and later heard that a man died in the community. The yard the disease was found in the residence said is often used by persons as a shortcut to enter another community. But we'll learn at 3 a.m. in the morning. What a 17-year-old doing on the road? Hmm? Where am I up on the road? Hands on my lap, man. Hands on my lap. Boy, them get to them deserve. Said what I said, and I mean what I said. I mean, I'll take it back. Report from the police that resident heard explosion at about 3 a.m. and Francis' body was later found at 5.20 a.m. with multiple gunshot wounds to his head. The man them execute him, people. The man them execute him. You ever see head drop and ground? I saw the boy head look. And to top off all of that, people. I just threw them, they have one dull knife. Because the man them put the knife, I made and I try cut them, I try cut them, I try cut. And it never cut. So you know, say, all of them, the little mark, they're fright there, so. So guess what, the man? Police them reach for the seed, then just take your body and carry it right, go put them right up one place, right up one part for the Savamar Hospital in a cold storage. Yeah, man. Well, I know. I got down a Clarendon. Right down a Clarendon. I got me tell the people I did in the numbers. What do think I joke me I make? Three persons were shot, one face at a shop in Sandy Bay, Clarendon. Yes, people. The deceased has been identified as 26 year old Dwayne Miller, also known as Whiskey. Yes, I'm take away Whiskey like life. Report from the Maypen police at about 9 30 p.m. Miller was among a group of men at a corner shop when two men on foot approached and opened fire, hitting him. The attacker then fled. The police were alerted, and on the arrival, three men were discovered suffering from gunshot wound. Not knife stab, not stone about up them head, or shot them get. Yes, people, they were taken to the hospital for treatment and Miller, make him look at two attack pan in foot and get one nice little space in our fridge. Yes, people, because him dead, dead, dead. Police sources say intelligence has revealed that the attack stemmed from an ongoing feud. Miller was gunned down hours after brazen, yes, brazen morning murder of 27 year old German Blackstock in the community of Riches in Northern Clarendon. Between January 1st and January 26th, a total of 39 people. Has been murdered in Clarendon. People are dead like hands going round this. Anyway, Miller family have something to say. Yeah, hard bad, hard bad. We never, we never expect this. We never expect to do it. I got dead. Worst one, a gunshot. Never expect to see me trying to hear that he's hard because you know I stay one. Did anybody want to be my style? Yeah. But I don't like nobody no 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 love him or nothing. Just want to feel him. Just making the feel him. Just nasty, that's it.